We have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. But to sit in the, uh, in the, lay in the spacecraft strapped in and, and listen to that countdown was very exciting. And you were pumped. You were ready to go. Two, one, zero, all engine run. We have a liftoff. Lift off. Why we're here today, and it's to celebrate uh, the life of a great American, Dr. Ron McNair, my very good friend and a person uh, that I owe everything to because I would not be standing here today were it not for Ron. A launch is incredible. I, I, everybody, I, I just wish everybody in, in, a, in the world, but particularly every American, could see the fruits of their tax dollar. I wish they could see the result, you know, and the power and, and just the overwhelming power uh, and, and emotional experience of a shuttle launch. Well, Charlie Duke, I think, is an interesting um, person because he's only one of 12 people who walked on the moon. Uh, he was the 10th man to walk on the moon, only person from South Carolina to actually go to the moon. And we hit the surface, we were dead level, but it was a pretty good impact, you know, whoop. It's like a Navy carrier landing. Uh, and, uh, and I erupted with excitement. Yahoo Houston, old Orion is finally here, fantastic. And, uh, and for the next three days, John and I, the only time we calmed down is when we had to go to sleep. <laughs> Charlie has a unique legacy. You know, Charlie is, is, uh, is among um, a very, 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 very select group of people, 12 to this day, who ever left this planet and set foot on, a, on another body, you know, in our, in our universe. And so I'm standing up on the flank of this mountain looking out across this valley where we'd landed. And it was spectacular. And see those kids just sit there and, you know, watch this video of me on the moon and see their enthusiasm and excitement. It's just a really satisfying part of life to see how you can, what you've done can have such a positive influence on these kids. Well, first of all, I think uh, Ron McNair is a really compelling individual. He's, he's got a really compelling story. He came from rural poverty in South Carolina, attended um, segregated schools, uh, but managed to make something of his life. He managed to earn a PhD from MIT and then become an astronaut. I mean, what, what a very interesting and compelling story for people about perseverance. I would love to have the people of South Carolina know that Ron loved the state of South Carolina, uh, was passionate, passionate about Lake City. He always talked about it with, with a certain sense, you could see it in his eyes. Well, I think when you think about the legacy of Ronald McNair, um, you really have to look at the Challenger accident itself. Um, because that's become part of our cultural memory. Um, if you were around at that point and you ask someone, where were you when the Challenger accident happened, it's kind of like a Kennedy moment. People remember where they were and what they were doing at that point. And just as Senator Graham said, we saw this uh, you know, liftoff and then this plume, and uh, we were just stunned. And we hoped that what we saw wasn't real, uh, but we knew all too soon that it was real, and that um, Ron and his seven crew members had been just suddenly taken from us. He and the rest of the crew were personal friends of mine, and um, that kind of loss and sacrifice is something you never forget. 
I would like for them to know that he was a, a, a person who was not afraid to take risks, but that he made sure that they were very measured risks. He, he knew exactly what he was doing when he flew in space. Uh, he was proud to do it, and I think if he were able to talk to any of us, he would, he would say that he hopes that his legacy is a continuation of exploration um, for humans beyond low Earth orbit and, and deeper into our universe. Charlie Bolden came in 1980 to JSC. He was the second class of astronauts that uh, came for the shuttle program. So when he came in, he, was, he knew he was going to be piloting the space shuttle and at some point commanding um, some missions. Uh, he flew four missions, he was a very successful astronaut, piloted two missions, and uh, commanded two missions. Any, any flight on the shuttle is spectacular and uh, sort of like a dream come true. The first flight's really special because you have no idea what to expect other than what your experienced crew members tell you. It was special being on Columbia, being from Columbia, South Carolina. And, and, and it, uh, for a number of years after that flight, you know, every time I would come home, it was a big deal. Uh, so, but it was special to have an opportunity to fly on a shuttle that was, had the same name as, my, as the place of my birth. Nothing that I have done in my entire life since leaving C.A. Johnson um, I would have ever imagined. And, and that's why I tell kids all the time, you know, they say, what should I take if I want to be an astronaut? I, and I tell them, forget about being an astronaut. Study as much as they can now. Try to make sure that they get a good sound uh, basis in math and science because no matter what they're going to do, it'll serve them well. I, I tell them the most important thing is to, be, is to get into something about which you can be passionate. Uh, because then they'll be good and they'll be successful. And you know, I, I never dreamed I'd be doing anything that I've done. But, but everything I've done, every step along the way, I've been very passionate about it. And it's allowed me to be with people, to be influenced by people, but also to influence other people and try to make their lives better. Well, in terms of, of uh, all three astronauts, they, they all three worked on amazing programs. First of all, the Apollo program is one of the greatest technological uh, programs of the 20th century, if not the greatest technological program. In terms of the two shuttle astronauts, another amazing program. Uh, we didn't go to the moon, we were in low Earth orbit, but it's NASA's longest lasting program. I mean, these are pretty um, significant programs and their involvement is, is very significant in terms of, you know, sort of the larger picture when you're looking at it that way. To be recognized as a, uh, in the South Carolina Hall of Fame was a great privilege. A little boy from Lancaster, South Carolina, making it that far was a great honor. Of course, my parents were busting at the seams. They were so proud. Little boy made good. <laughs> And that's the reason we all volunteered to explore. We love to explore, all the astronauts did. We love to know what's over the next hill. We love the adventure part of it, of the uniqueness of flying in a spacecraft. 